As someone who does intend to pull for Emily since it's been a while since we got an actual off-field or support character in the game, these banners are looking to be a little bit disappointing. Hello everyone, just wanted to do a very quick banner review. I'm not going to be too elaborate on things, but I'll just give my rough thoughts on our current banners or the banners that we're going to be getting on the second phase of version 4.8. So Emily, very interesting character. Another off-field dendro of applicator, which is not very common. I know we do have Kalei and Dendro traveler but i would like to compare her to the likes of nahida and baiju and let's be honest hoyo has this weird thing of releasing a bunch of dps characters for the past like few patches or at least for the entirety of fontaine i can barely count how many like supports we've been getting that's actually kind of decent so i would say emily being an off-field dps as a five star unit is pretty much a welcome introduction but in terms of actual performance i look at theory crafting a little bit on the certain side of the internet like you know what i'm talking about apparently she's going to be like okay in terms of damage she's not going to be game breaking but i think she's going to be decent in her best teams like definitely the burning teams and very likely with the release of Natlan around the corner we should expect to see some interesting Natlan units that may actually improve her value in the long run i think the nearest one so far is probably Kanish, but outside of that i don't think she's going to be a must pull but it's definitely a character that i'm going to be pulling for because i'm kind of sick of getting like five dps's through like three different patches and of course the other five star would be yelan i don't think i can really stop stating about how yelan is just really good basically we only have one single in the game so it doesn't hurt to get another sing chu if that is what you need for your imaginarium theater or your spiral abyss at constellation zero yelan is better than sing chu until sing chu becomes constellation six but once your yelan does get constellation two she is definitely much better the, i think the damage that she offers is actually much better the hydro application is also pretty good and if you were to compare the two in terms of what they're able to offer sing chu is more of a defensive option with the damage reduction a little bit of healing and the resistance to interruption from his burst while yelan is more more of the damaging option which before you get consolation 2 her hydro application definitely falls in comparison to a c6 sing chu but her ascension passive that gives like damage percent to your active character is quite valuable for a few teams so if you want to push your damage ceiling of someone like your alakino vape team yelan is definitely the way to go now in terms of the four star characters well okay shangling let's just start with shangling shangling amazing unit opa shangling i can't take it anymore i'm sick of shangling i try to play they look my shangling deals for that i try to play yoimiya my Shangling deals more damage. <laughs> The Constellation 4 basically extends her burst duration. It's probably her most pivotal Constellation. Constellation 3 is the one that really adds like 3 levels to the burst. So honestly, you only really care about like C3 and C4 for the duration and the 3 levels for the burst damage. And then C6 cannot really be used by her because Pyronado cannot snapshot that, but it would be useful for mono pyro teams. Now we have Razor. Razor is mostly an electro physical DPS and especially wielding the Claymore. And you could say somewhat decent physical DPS would be Eula. And she's not particularly that great so yeah razor's not gonna be as good being a four star unit you do have the virgin razor team aka the thundering fury team but that requires constellation six bennett and it's especially bad against multi-wave setups so if you go against a single enemy that doesn't move a lot like a boss i think he should be okay but you shouldn't really be pulling for him otherwise then we do have yanfei yanfei is actually a pretty decent pyro dps essentially she's the much more smoother version of klee with her own like cool sound effect with the stamp although most of her constellations really focus on buffing her charge attack with constellation 4 offering another build called the tang fei where you essentially build for hp to run her as a shielder but otherwise she's not really that great she isn't really a bad dps but when you compare to a lot of the other pyro dps out there like a c6 garming or obviously a lot of the five star pyro dps the amount of investment that you can put into yanfei to make her somewhat decent for endgame content can be much better and much more effective if you were to put that in another pyro dps now for the weapon banner is actually looking pretty decent so Aqua Simulacra is Yolan's weapon, lots of crit damage, low base attack, HP, and I believe like some damage percent. Outside of Yolan herself, it's not particularly her best weapon, but however, this can be used on two other units, notably being Ganyu at close range, and of course Tartalia, because Tartalia, I believe Tartalia and is going to be close range with his melee stance or something like that. So it's actually one of his better weapons, and it's also one of the better weapons for Ganyu, comparable to I believe a low refinement Amos bow, if you're able to stay close to activate their passive. As for Yolan, herself i don't think aqua is really going to be a weapon worth pulling if you have a constellation zero yelan unless you really don't care about getting enough energy to get her burst back because it simply does not offer
offer any sort of way to get energy to help her get her burst back because I believe her burst costs at about like 70 or 80 or something like that. Personally, even with my Constellation 2 Yulan, I would much prefer using my Favonius Warbow until I can maybe... I, I don't think I'll ever consider pulling for Aqua and I don't think I need my Yulan to be any stronger because Constellation 2 is quite a massive damage increase. Now for the Lumidosh Elegy, I'm gonna have to look at the info for this. So the only new weapon we have is uh, MLA's Polarm Lumidosh. Let's see what the stats are. So high base attack with a good amount of crit rate, buffs quite a decent amount of attack. If the character triggers burning or deals dendro damage to burning characters, the damage dealt is increased. The effect lasts for 2 seconds so you can probably gain up to like 36% damage bonus. When the stacks are reached, you get flat energy. Energy restore this way happens 1 every 12 seconds and it can be triggered if the character is off field. Obviously, this weapon is going to be the best in slot for Emily aside from her other weapons but I can't really think of any other unit aside from maybe a burn shangling like a burning shangling that can really use this polearm maybe there's a few other units out there because the only way to really deal with this is that a dendro polearm character that can do damage or a pyro polearm character that can do damage that wouldn't mind being in a burning team but otherwise it's a very niche niche weapon so unless you really want to go for this for emily I don't think the weapon itself has that much of a use case scenario now for the other weapons we have the favonius warbow the flute fav lands I think that's wandering even star and makaira aquamarine both favonius weapons are just indefinitely good I think we all know how good they are by now so I'm not gonna repeat myself on how many supports can use these weapons the flute is trash don't even consider it wandering even star at high refinements or oh, I don't know about r1 but I believe at high refinements it's quite a competitive weapon for nahida but if you do get the wandering even star you could consider using that for your nahida the makaira aquamarine I believe is also a decent weapon but I don't think there's any real uses for it at the moment because if we look at the stat let's see like low base attack with elemental mastery every 10 seconds they'll gain ems bonus attack with everyone else gaining the thing can be triggered off feel hmm elemental mastery as bonus attack they just this just sounds like a weird budget diluc weapon but i don't think it's gonna be that good on diluc but other than that i don't think there's really anyone that can really use this weapon so overall i think this current weapon banner it's actually quite good the regular banner i kind of wish chevaru was in this banner instead of yan fei and razor but i'm gonna have to find my way to just hopefully get a lot of star glitter while i'm at it as i'm getting emily maybe i'm lucky enough so i can just do a few polls like my previous video and i can just get emily and like 20 polls or something like that so i hope that's the case anyways that's it for now do the usual like subscribe see you guys in the next video all right bye